the way. Let's quickly look at the Raiders' cap space. Raiders have $34 million in cap space. And, barring any injuries, knock on wood if you hear me. I don't want anybody to get injured. Um, Raiders have $34 million in cap space to play with. I believe all their rookies are signed. I haven't really looked that up. But let's look at free agents that are available according to... I think it's ESPN.com or Sport Track or whatever these websites are. Let's look at the top free agents available. Okay. And I don't think we'll need one at the quarterback position, barring any really bad injuries. But the best remaining quarterback free agents in 2024, as of, I believe, right now, it might have been updated a month ago. I don't know. Uh, but Ryan Tannehill, Trevor Simeon, Blaine Gabbard, A.J. McCarron, Brian Hoyer, Kellen Maud, and Ben DiNucci of the Cowboys thing. And I don't want any injury, or if, but I'm just saying, if anything really, really bad happened, again, it'll either be Aiden or Gardner taking over the spots. But if anything bad happened to both of them, I mean, if we had to bring somebody in, eh, Ryan Tannehill will win us a couple of games. But he ain't going nowhere. He hasn't been signed yet. So, now let's look at the... Whoops. I got rid of the cap space on accident, guys. I pressed the wrong button. But I'm not going to bring it back because I'm going to have to look through my folders and figure it all out. Let's look at the offensive centers available in the best remaining free agents for the Raiders' $34 million in cap space. We got Connor Williams, Mason Cole, Connor McGovern, Scott Cuisenberry, Nick Gates at center. <coughs> True Raider said, all right, Mikey, my wifey says it's time for dinner. Well, eat some dinner while you watch me. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. Eat your food while you watch Mikey Raider. Check out Noah Fifteen from University of Arizona. Is that a quarterback, Noah Fifta? All right. Uh, those are the offensive centers that are best free agents available according to this website. Now let's look at the offensive guard, best free agents available. If the Raiders have a hankering and we got 34 million in cap space. We got Phil Hange, Havala Vatai, I can't, I'm not, I'm, Greg Van Rotten, is he playing Rotten? I heard of his name before. Mark Glowinski, Justin Pugh, Giants fame, Tyree Phillips, Trey Turner, Pat Efren, Chris Reed, Justin McCrary. Uh, was he with the Ravens? Uh, Matt Fryer and DJ Fluker are the best guards available of free agents. Wow, there's a couple names on there that you think would have been signed, but they will be signed. You know, once injuries in camps happen to a lot of these players, some of these free agents that have lasted this long, they're going to be gone. They're going to be gone ASAP. That's why if any of these free agents were available and the Raiders truly knew they still had a need, why didn't Tom Telesco pick one of them up right now before they're officially gone with other teams? I mean, you can't say it's money related because we got $34 million. I believe all the Raider rookies are signed. Then once all the undrafted free agents and players are cut, that um, cap space might go from $34 million to like 37 or 38 million with all the players being released and cut. So we might technically have close to 37, 38 million dollars of free agent cap space. But why is Tom Telesco not picking up some of these free agents? Well, I made a video a while back. You guys can watch it on the channel. I believe Tom Telesco is hoarding money for Mark Davis. Because remember, Mark Davis has to play all these players that were cut in dead cap space that counts towards the cap. Then on top of that, he's got to pay all these coaches in settlements and Josh McDaniels and, and everything. You know, where does that money come from? So the salary cap stays in the bank, earns interest, and maybe rolls over till next year. But there is a law that they have to spend like 85% by the, the middle of the season or, or the end of the season or something like that. So I don't know if the Raiders are anywhere around that. But still, I think there's like $20 million that's trying to be saved for Mark Davis to pay some other people and some other bills. It's just my opinion. Pay off Antonio Pierce's debt. Why not? 
Why not? All right, now the best remaining free agents at the offensive tackle position are Donovan Smith, David Bakhtieri, coming off injuries for Green Bay, DJ Humphreys, Jason Peters, Charles Leno, Billy Turner, Cameron Irvin, Dwayne Brown, Riley Reef, and Connor McDermott. Um, now let's look at the wide receiver free agents available. Best remaining wide receiver free agent, Michael Thomas. Who wants that diva on the team? After what he did against his quarterback. And then Hunter Renfro. I have a feeling Hunter Renfro, barring injuries for the Saints, might go there. Or he might go to the Jets. But I can't believe he's still available. Is Hunter Renfro not better than any of some of the other Raider wide receivers. Maybe they're going to test out wide receivers in camp and see how everything plays out, knowing what they got in Hunter Renfro. Because I believe Hunter Renfro would love to play for the Raiders again, especially Antonio Pierce. Um, and Raider Nation loves him and will clean up to him. Then they got Corey Davis, Julio Jones, Russell Gage. Wow, some big names from a couple of years ago. Alex Erickson, the former Raider, Miami Dolphin, Lynn Bowden Jr., Randall Cobb, Robbie Chosen, Richie James, Jakeem Grant, Martavius Bryant is still out there? Are you kidding me? I thought he gave up on the NFL. Remember Gruden got him and called him the White Tiger? I'm pretty sure that was Martavius Bryant. He called him the White Tiger because he was never available to play like he's hardly ever seen on the field. <laughs> and then we got Quentin Seafish. Uh, go fund me for AP Chargers might want him yeah you're right about that with Hunter Renfro you're right about that Hunter Renfro said Greg Lear could be a Jordy Nelson under Luke Getschy yeah I mean Hunter Renfro was getting injured a lot and he needed to bulk up and I don't know if he's ever going to have the full strength for a full season but he can have a, a couple of good quality games um, but that's the issue with with Hunter Renfro as I see it. But man, he he had a good season or two for the Raiders, man. Oh, love that dude. Um, tight end free agents available. The best ones are Jimmy Graham from the Saints, Trayvon Wesco, Jeff Schwim, and Bryson Hopkins. And the Raiders will not be looking for any of these, barring any injuries. But Jimmy Graham's an interesting name. He just seems to show up. He played decent with Carr and the Saints last year. Had a couple of nice touchdowns. Uh, best defensive lineman available. I don't know what position they played. Just says defensive line. Hassan Ridgeway, Lawrence Guy, Brian Moon, Linval Joseph. I think he was with Minnesota. Al Woods, Mike Purcell, Tyson Alou, Matt Dickerson, and Davon Nixon. And you guys, let me know in the chat room if you think the Raiders should go out and sign any of these specific players. Whoever I'm presenting, make your case for them and say, man, the Raiders should have already gotten that person. They could help our team out. Please let me know in the description, the chat room, in the forum. I want to know. I want to know what you're thinking. This is the Raider Football Talk Show, and we're talking Raiders, baby. Jordy Nelson was a track star. Hunter ain't nowhere near that. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I could agree with that. I could agree with that. Best free agent defensive edge rushers available. Emmanuel Akba. Was he with the Ravens? Yannick Ngakwe was with the Ravens and then the Raiders. Then Indianapolis. And now he's... Then he went to Chicago or somewhere and then he's unemployed. That's eye-opening, y'all. Maybe the Raiders overpaid when we got him a few years ago. Um... He had 10 sacks, though, for us. Interesting. Carl Lawson, Charles Harris, Tyson Bowser, the Super Mario namesake. Marcus Haynes, Rashawn Green, Marcus Golden, and Shaq Lawson. Shaq Lawson is hes a versatile player, but he's probably been to multiple teams. Um, best linebackers available, according to this report, is... Shaq Leonard, Zach Cunningham, Quan Alexander. 
and Josh Wood. Didn't we just mention Shaq Leonard on the other position? I don't know. But hey, we're doing our research. So could the Raiders sign any of these players from your knowledge? You think any of them would be a good fit? Let me know. Because the Raiders defense is balling out. We're going to ball out this year. Um, it's going to be, it's going to be, we're going to have a better defense than offense this year. And we're going to talk about that more on Raider fo football talk shows in the future. But like we have the possibility of being a top 10 defense and really we got some depth. We got depth this year. We got depth. The best free agency remaining free agents are Xavier Howard, Adoree Jackson, Stefan Gilmore, Patrick Peter. These are some big names from a couple years ago. Patrick Peterson, J.C. Jackson, Akilah Witherspoon, Keon Croshen, Eli Apple, Chandon Sullivan, Fabian Moreau, former Raider. I believe he was a former Raider. Jerry Jacobs, and then Michael Jackson. Come on, Mike. you got to have a Michael Jackson on the team. Seahawks assigned a restricted free agency tender to that player. Man, um... I would like to shine some of these players. I think we're set at cornerback with Nate Hobbs and the three players. But I wouldn't mind, but it would cost too much of a pretty penny. Because I believe we got three cornerbacks that are really going to ball out and be that great. And I forget the names of all of them. But it's Nate Hobbs, Jack Jones, and then another one. I just can't remember it. But, uh, dude, with $34 million in cap space... Why not get one of these veterans like Sh Stephen Gilmore, Patrick Peterson, or Xavier Howard, man? Why not? Maybe even Akilah Witherspoon is decent. I think he played with Cincinnati. I don't know, man. I would like one of those four players to be on our team. But they're probably not worth the salary they're coveting. And, you know, I, I can understand that. But still, some really interesting big veteran player names that could help out this team. But apparently we're going with youth, baby. And Nate Hobbs. Now let's look at the best safeties available. Jo uh, Shaq Leonard as linebacker signed running back Leonard Fournette too. Yeah, Leonard Fournette is decent, but will he be better than Alexander Madison? I don't know. Um, but he is a veteran that has playoff experience. But he's not the best player. But, dude, he blocks and he does what he can. Uh, Shaq Leonard is linebacker, Fournette. And then you would want, true Raider said, Adoree Jackson. Understood. You guys, keep that chat room going. And just a reminder, we have raffle for $5 Super Chats or stickers or memberships. You get one entry. For the Amari Cooper jersey at the end of August, for for five dollars of super chat or a five dollar membership, you get one entry to win the double XL Amari Cooper jersey at the end of August on our final August show. Not the final show, but the August show. All right, let's check out the best safeties free agents available. Hit that thumbs up, that like, that subscribe button. You're watching Raider Football Talk with Mikey Raider, Justin Simmons. Eddie Jackson, Micah Hyde, Quandre Diggs, Jamal Adams, Tracy Walker, Jaron Kirsch, Adrian Phillips, Tashawn Gibson, Kareem Jackson, Keanu Neal, Rudy Ford, uh, Ryan Neal, Adrian Amos, and John Johnson. Uh, Micah Hyde sounds interesting. Uh, maybe I don't know much about football, but that name sounds interesting. And Eddie Jackson is interesting to me. And Keanu Neal for some reason. And J. Ron Kirsch. But I I think we're okay at the safety position with our players. So I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. 